Hey guys, uh, today we got a 2007 John Deere 4105 compact tractor with a 300 CX front end loader. This particular unit here has a skid steer style quick attach adapter and a 72 inch John Deere HD bucket. It is 41 horsepower. Yanmar diesel. It is equipped with a, uh, a rear remote so you do have a third hydraulic function. So there's the valves back there and then right down here is going to be your your control for that along with your your loader joystick right here. Ag tires all around. Very good tread on them. This front right tire has been replaced so it's essentially brand spanking new you'll see this does have category one three-point hitch your 540 rpm rear PTO with the shroud there everything's in good condition lights all the lenses are there Nothing's cracked. The bulbs all work. Go ahead and turn the key here a little bit and uh, go through those flashers. There's one, there's the other. Turn that off. I'll hit the turn signal over here. There we go. Hit the other. There we are. We'll get our headlights on so you can see those. Both of those are working good. back off. This is going to be your PTO right here. I'll, uh, I'll fire it up and turn that on so you can see it spinning. Um, also you have your throttle right here as well. On the other side over here you're going to have your range select which you have a high and a low range and then this is four wheel or two wheel or sometimes called front wheel assist. Um, you can adjust your seat forward or back right here. Locking rear differential. Right here you're going to have your um, sp uh, speed adjust, I guess, for the three-point hitch. You can turn it one way or another and it's going, going to either increase or decrease um, the rate that the three-point hitch raises and lowers. Then you have your foot brake here and a parking brake. And then on the far side there, that's your twin touch pedals for forward and reverse. So you can see open operator station there, semi-flat, just that slight hump there, but a lot of room for your feet very comfortable, spacious. We do have one step here as well. You'll see this model 300 CX loader is a quick park loader so this is a built-in parking stand right here. These are the brackets or the uh, uh, the clips that are holding it in so you, you release this and then this bracket right here is going to drop down uh, if you take the pressure off of it. And uh, while these loader arms are raising up, this parking stand will, will drop down to the ground and rest there. So, I'm going to go ahead and push that key in. And when I do, I'm going to just do it a few times. I don't know if you can see the glow plugs. Uh, they're going to they're gonna come on there. So I'll go ahead and uh, fire this up. It just had it running a little bit ago, so I shouldn't really need them. left in that bucket. That's the fully raised, fully curled position. I'll, I'll roll it all the way so you can see the dump position. Now I don't have the, uh, the throttle up all the way so hydraulics are running a little bit slower than they normally would but 
you get the idea there. So. Climb up here and turn on the PTO. So there's a light on the dash, the indicator that the PTO is on. Reach around back here so you can see it in action. off you probably heard the uh, engine start to die there as uh, when I was leaning back to to get a shot of the, the rear PTO my my butt came off the seat so that's the safety switch doing what it does which is uh, kill the engine so anyways very nice tractor um, this is a bit of a, a tweener I call it um, you know it's got a four series frame size to it uh, hence being a, a model 4105 so uh, you got the, the weight there uh, you got the engine size um, you know the wheelbase the, the tire size everything else that goes along with that but you're not going to have some of the features that are found in a full up 4 series like a 4120 4320 4520 45 7 or 4720 and so on um, you know you're going to see it does have the 300 uh, series of loader versus the 400 series of loader so um, you know you're still gonna have a, about 1600 pounds of lift capacity to full height which is you know not nothing to sneeze at but uh, compared to the 4 series and 400 uh, loaders which are well over 2,000 pounds um, you know you're giving up something there but uh, also it does have a two range transmission as opposed to the three range e-hydro transmission that you're going to find on the rest of the four series um, so again just high and low you're not going to have the medium range on here which you know isn't the end of the world but it's, it's a difference so um, you know you're not going to have things like uh, uh, the uh, auto throttle and and so on and so forth but um, overall it's a great tractor it's a very popular tractor I sell a lot of these so if it's something you like, feel free to reach out, let me know. I do get quite a few of these in stock. They are a popular tractor. Um, you know, this guy here is going to go for uh, my asking price of $19,999 plus tax or best offer. Um, you know, again, it's equipped with that uh, rear outlet on there too, which is which is valuable. And, and even this skid steer style uh, quick attach bucket that's on there, that adds some value too because it's going to be compatible with... Um, you know anything that's on like a bobcat or a John Deere skid steer you know which is a more universal type of attachment that can be found they are generally cheaper than the John Deere style of attachment uh, for the front end loader there so you know a few bonuses there as well but uh, also it's been fully serviced um, complete oil engine oil and uh, hydraulic oil and filter change so this puppy is ready to go but any questions uh, give us a call 269-720-4107 you can visit us at goodworkstractors.com. If you did like this video, please subscribe. Also, like and share. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.